Don't wait till dark to tell you it's too late. There ain't no hope for you. Then you pray. Pray before. I said, pray before. Put your trust in the Lord. And believe Him before all that. Believe that God's going to heal you anyhow. And you're saved. Amen. Touch your hand this way, Lord. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, this infirmity, this old spirit, this warning against this body. God, I rebuke. Go by the power of God in Jesus' name. Be free from this infirmity and this weakness departs from you now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You'll be all right. I believe. I believe that God. He said, Whatsoever you desire when you pray, then. Believe it. Believe. Just believe it. Just believe it. You're going to see lightning strike. Talk about the house don't have to fall in. Just believe it. Rooster don't have to jump up on the porch and crow at 12 o'clock today. Just believe it. And you say, man. Just have faith. Faith is it's all right. Faith is done. Faith is all Bible said Abraham uh, spoke his though it was already done though it be not and though it was yeah. praise God though it wasn't but yet it was they spoke like it was he talked to God God talked to him like, like it was already done you know he told him he going to send him be as the stars of the heaven and the sand of the sea he didn't even have a child he didn't even have a son but he talked as though it already was done. His conversation was, you would have thought he had three or four of them running around there. And he bleeped. He bleeped. Once God told him it was, it was sealed, signed, sealed, and delivered. Once God said it, it was done as far as he was concerned. He spoke his things that be not as though it were. Thank you, Jesus. He talked just like it was already done. Right. That's what faith is. Isn't it? Faith is believing God. Hallelujah. Faith is believing God. When you ask, he said, whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it. And you shall have it. He said, how am I going to believe I'm going to receive it? You believe God's promise. Because he said, whatsoever you desire when you pray, if you desire it when you ask, believe it. And he said, you'll have it. You'll have it. Praise God. That, that's, the, that's the secret of getting your prayers answered. It's right there in the Word. I said the secret of getting your prayers answered right there in the Bible. Whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it. And you shall have it. Praise the Lord. It's so in him. I said the word of God is so in him. It does work. The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. It does work. God's word is true. But so whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive. And you shall have it. You'll have what you ask. You'll have what you pray for. Can you say amen? I believe it. I said, I believe it. That woman would issue your blood. She said it up in herself, in her heart. She didn't even tell nobody. Twelve long years she suffered. Twelve long years she had an issue of blood. Went to every doctor, every specialist. The Bible said she got worse. She grew worse and not better. Twelve years is a long time to fight one thing. Went to every specialist, but got worse. And she said within herself, 
if I can just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I know I'll be made whole. Twelve years, all in darkness. Praise God. But she didn't even tell nobody. She just said it in her heart. And she made her way where Jesus was. And when she got there, the crowd was all around Jesus. But she had to get to him. That, that, was, that was her. What she said in her heart. She didn't say, I'm just going to see it. She said, if I just touch him, it was gone. So she had to finish it out. She had to get to where he was. And, and to touch the hem of his garment. That was her. That was what's going to bring her deliverance. That was what she purposed in her heart. Not just get there and see him. Holler and say, hey Jesus. But get to him. And there are crowd of folks around. I got to do something to get to him. I know sometimes you got to put forth an effort to get to him. Sometimes you got to put forth an effort to break through. That opposition. That will stand up and try to make you doubt God or whether God's going to hear you. But when she got there, she couldn't get to Jesus, but she pressed her way. She pressed her way through that crowd. I don't know if she got on her knees, crawled up through your legs. I don't know. But the one thing I do know, she got there. And she got a miracle. That's the main thing. Praise God. But she called over folks or called on me. A push the way through. That don't really matter. She just got to it. Because she had her mind made up. That was her miracle. If I may but touch the hill of his gun, I know I will be made whole. And when she pressed her way through that crown, touched Jesus' garments, immediately the Bible said, that is your blood dried up up there. And Jesus stopped in his tracks and said, Who touched me? Who touched me? Come on. And the crowd, they told him, said, Lord, there are a lot of folks around you. He said, people's touching you everywhere. People laying hands on, on you from every direction. He said, oh, but somebody touched me with faith. That's the difference. That's what moves God is when somebody touches him with faith. When you believe when you pray. That's what touching me is when you believe when you pray. When you ask, and when you ask, you believe, you're going to receive what you ask for. That's what we need. That's the key of getting your prayers in. Not just praying. Not just praying and Get up and walk out because you're going to pray for 10 minutes. No. No. But believe when you pray. Believe that you're going to get what you're asking for. The very thing you're asking for, you're going to get. God, you're going to receive. That's faith. Believe in it. See, that's the key of getting what you're praying for. Asking. And believe in you're going to receive. Yeah. See, we got the scripture. God answers prayer. Yeah. God answers prayer. He's a prayer answering God. Yeah. Prayer touches God. Come on with it. Amen. The prayer of faith, brother. Yes, Not just necessarily the prayer, but the prayer of faith. Hey. Hey. Bible says the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Amen. Amen. James said that any sick among you. Any sick among you, James said, let him call for the elders of the church. And let him anoint him with oil. And the prayer of faith shall, not maybe, shall save the sick. I said, God's people don't even use 
what God has given us. It works. It works. The word of God works. Whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe. Believe that you receive. In other words, when you ask Him, just like you ask somebody for something you believe for, you ask, He's going to give it to you. You go ask to borrow $20, and if you thought you were going to say no, ain't long, you know, $20. You wouldn't ask. You don't ask him. Would you? You wouldn't ask a person that you thought was going to say no. He and old spells what? No. You know, I've been told that before, don't you? Can you say me? Praise the Lord. Mama, can I? No. You know. Get out of here. But when you know you're going to somebody and they'll loan you that $20, you believe they're going to give it to you when you're you're, you're totally See, we got to go to God just like that. We got to go to God with the confidence. I know somebody let me have it. I know somebody let me have it. Praise the Lord. And if the Lord lets you have it, He'll heal you. He'll make you whole. He'll take that back pain away. He'll take that sickness out of your body. He'll raise you up. He'll give you a fresh start. He'll make you whole. I know the Lord will do it. Hallelujah. You see, you go to that person. That's, that's what faith is. That's how you go to God. You, you have got to have that same company. But if you go to God asking for something... And really, you ain't even sat down and figured it out. You ain't even got no faith. You just pray and ask, Lord, help me. Please. Lord, do it, Lord. And just get up and go. Yeah. Ain't even believe nothing. And those prayers got to be distinctive. Yes, sir. I mean, you got to deal with that situation head on. Yeah. You got to When you deal with it, you take it to God. Yeah. And you deal with it according to the word of God. And you believe right there. Yeah. You get it all out and open. And you believe right there that the answer, that God has met your need, that God has answered your prayer. I mean, you just pray, 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 never stop to pray the prayer of faith. Not just pray, but pray the prayer of faith. Faith is what moves God. Believing that God's going to do it is what makes God do it. Believing that God's going to answer your prayer is what makes God answer your prayer. It ain't, he can always do it. He can always do it. He can always answer prayer. But he said you can get your prayer answered every time. He said you can get all of your prayers answered. You can get your prayer answered every time. Is what he did. Whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. And you get a bunch of people getting their prayers answered. You can get something on the move. I said you can get the devil on the move. You can get the children saved. Praise God. You can get your needs met. You can get your body healed. You can get folks believing in God. Hallelujah. And praying the prayer of faith. You can get the devil on the move. And don't you fall in a rut with your prayers. Not even coming to the grips that you're dealing with a situation that you can actually get this thing off of you right there. Before you get up off your knees. One place God said, I'll answer you before you call. Hallelujah. He said, I'll answer you before you call. Already be on the way before you ask. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's his promises, see. That's the Bible. That's his promise. Anything you read that Bible, praise God, you can have it. Anything you read that Bible, it'll work for you. If you're just believing, thank God, thank God, thank God. It's time we go back to the Word of God. It's time we go back and get seasoned in the promises of God and begin to pray the prayer of faith and begin to believe God and not doubt. We got to get some moving. You say, quit I need a move in my life. Well, get something to move it. Get to praying. Get to believing. Get to standing on God. See, this is the way God wants it. This is the way God's got it fixed. That we, we can move God. We can have our prayers answered. That you too can speak the word. Amen. You know, Paul spoke the word. Didn't he? Amen. He told that man, he said, if you fall behind Paul, aggravate me. He told him, blind is going to fall on you for a season. Yeah. Come on. They let him away blind. God got the glory of it. It made fear fall on you. Right. But see, it's time yeah. and a hot time for God's people to put this thing back in gear. Take it out of news. Take it out of Paul. Amen. 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 All, all the folks just laying around the pool waiting on the waters to be trouble. And Jesus said, Will thou be made whole? You can have it right now. He ain't got to wait till the water's trouble. I'm the trouble in the waters. Hallelujah. Man, they were all still sitting around waiting. Jesus walked right in the midst of all them people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sitting around there waiting for the trumpet of the waters. And you can have yours right now. If I canst believe all things are possible. Under him that believes. You've got to have faith. Faith moves God. Thank you, Jesus. Peter. They were walking and Jesus looked at a fig tree. And he desired the figs off of the tree. And there wasn't none. So Jesus cursed that tree and said, You won't bear no figs from henceforth. And the old tree just give it up. It died right there before. Then the disciple Peter said, Woo, how soon. He was amazed. And I am too. When I read it, how soon, how quick. I mean, you're looking at the fig tree, just all normal, just ain't got no figs. And Jesus cursed it and just died. And the leaves turned brown. It lit over like a dead tree because it was dead. Have a dead tree look, that's how that fig tree looked. Because it was dead. Jesus cursed it. Peter said, how soon? Is the fig tree withered? Yeah. It withered right there under that word. Yeah. Jesus said it like this: How faith in God? Or the original Greek says, How the faith of God, or how the God kind of faith? How faith like God has? Come on. How the God kind of faith? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how many wants that kind of faith? Or give me the God kind of faith. Give me that faith like God. Give me faith like Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus come walk in the waters in the middle of a storm. He had faith, didn't he? How said Jesus come walk in the waters in the midst of a storm? He had faith to step off the bank, didn't he? To step in the water. And not expect to go down. When Jesus stepped off the bank, he stepped on the water, he believed he's going to walk the water. Yes, Amen. Yes. I said, Jesus believed it. So it be, uh, the original Greek said, How the God kind of faith? How faith like God? Hallelujah. Can I have faith like God? Yes, yes you can. Yes. You can have the God kind of faith. Yes. You can have faith that won't. You can have faith that won't die. You can have faith that gets its answers to 
your prayers every time you pray. That's the God kind of faith that gets the answers to your prayers. I believe it, don't you? I said, I believe it. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Thank you, Jesus. Have the God kind of faith. You know, I'll only do this to the fig tree, but he said, this mountain you're standing on, you can tell it, be thy cast into the sea, and it will have to obey you. You might say, well, how in the God's world could somebody move a mountain and put it into the sea by faith? God kind of faith? Because that's what Jesus said. You can not only do this, he told the disciples, he said, you can not only do this, what I've done to the fig tree, but you, you see this mountain, you can tell it to go and be cast into the sea. And if you don't doubt, it will obey you. See, Jesus was showing them. He was teaching them what faith will do. He was teaching them. That you don't just go around moving mountains and throwing them over into the sea. But Jesus said you could. You could and you, you could do it if you had faith and not doubt. Hallelujah. If you had faith and not doubt, you can actually speak to that mountain and say, get up from your mountain. Go over on that red sea. And he said, I would have to obey you if you didn't die. Heaven knows we're living below our prayer. You wind up struggling when you ought to be on top. You wind up doing all your fighting from the bottom instead of doing your fighting on top. Devil got you down. You're doing all your fighting from underneath. My God don't want us to do all of our fighting on the ground. He don't want our back on the ground. He wants the devil's back on the ground. Hallelujah. It's time to put the devil's back on the ground. Thank God it's not God's will for your back to be on the ground and to do all your fighting from the bottom. Well, you need to get on used to it. Get up. Get up from there. You tell the folks a testimony now that they used to fight from the bottom. We don't need to be fighting from the bottom. He said, Behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power. Of all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall be able to hurt you or harm you. There's a different feeling about a person testifying that's been doing all the fighting from the bottom than one doing the fight from the top. There's a difference in his spirit. There's a difference in his voice. There's a difference in his testimony. You can tell when somebody is doing all their fighting from the top. There's a difference. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Quit doing all your fighting from the bottom. It's not God's will for you to be on the bottom. It's God's will for you to be on the top. Do your fight from the top. Greater is he that's in you. 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 The Holy Ghost in you. Jesus in you. is greater than the devil. You don't have to do your fight from the bottom. Get up, brother. Get up. I got it. Get up from the... He got you. Get up. Well, I'm going to be all right. No, you ain't. Get up. And you'll be all right. You ain't all right on the bottom. You ain't all right when the devil's got you down. You ain't all right when you're about to give up. You're all right when you're back on top. You're all right when you're on your feet. You're all right when you're punching the devil. You're all right. The devil knows that you're standing. That you ain't gonna back down. That you believe God. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. That you believe God. You believe when you pray, your answer. Your prayers are gonna be answered. You believe that your children ain't gonna be lost. They're gonna be saved. 
talking to Eve, you ain't playing with the devil. You ain't even talking no conversation with the devil. You don't pray to pray. You don't need God. You ain't got nothing to talk about, devil. Get on down the road. I got nothing to discuss with you.
But the Bible said he waited until he died. And then he came. Four days later. Don't have the funeral. And here comes Jesus showing up after the funeral was over. Jesus said, go on home. 
Your daughter's all right. She took that word and believed it and went home. And when she got there, her daughter was all right. But Jesus said, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Said, your brother's going to rise again. She said, Lord, we know he was a believer. We know he's going to rise again in the resurrection. He said, I am the resurrection. And I am the life. Though a man be dead, yet if he believed in me, yet shall he live. Believe in this. Take me where you've laid him. Lord, he's been dead four days. He's sinking now. Didn't I tell you? If you forgot what I just told you, if you would believe. When you told me you're done buried, and I told you, if you'd believe, you'd see the glory of God. What do you think the glory of God is in a graveyard for dead folk? Ain't no glory except somebody gets up from the dead. That's where the glory is. Jesus said, if you believe, you'll see the glory of God. Hallelujah. How many want to see the glory of God? See God's glory. You know, just, just regular old church ain't much anymore. <coughs> Amen. Two songs of testimony, 15 minute sermonette. Go to the house. That ain't much. Nothing. That ain't what I read in the Bible. I read what the blind saw, the lame walked, the dead was raised up, God's power was manifest. There's more to God than what's going on today. And it's fixed to go on. God is still God. God is fixed to show himself. God is fixed to show himself just like he showed himself in that graveyard. Don't you know when he started heading to the graveyard, the word got around, he probably had a string of them way behind him going to see what he was going to do with this one. What's he going to do with this one? Praise the Lord. But the heaven knows. He said, I'm the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I don't believe there's nothing too hard. Oh, Jesus, I don't believe there's anything too hard. Lord, let us, let us tilt the scales of faith. Lord, let us enter in to believe in God again, Lord. Hallelujah. Doubt our doubts and believe our beliefs. Doubt our doubts and believe the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Believe what God promised. I said, down our doubts. Believe our beliefs. Believe the word of God. Take me where you lay me. Lord, he stinks already. Just, it's okay. Just leave me alone. He said, did not tell me. If you believe, you would see the glory of God. They took him on down. Praise God to the graveyard. The man was dead for four days. Done buried him. And Jesus got there. He went on through it. The next thing, he said, roll the stone away. Take the door off that tomb. Take the lid off that grave. Take the slab off. Get a shovel and dig him up. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I wonder how many would believe with me enough today if I told you to get some shovel, boy. We're going to dig him up. They probably somebody have something to do. Some had to run and take care of something. Getting out of town. I don't want to go to jail. Take me where you laid it. Jesus had no doubt of what was going to take place that day. Jesus had no doubt what was going to take place in that graveyard. And he said, as he is, so are we. In this present world. He told him Matthew 10, heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, and raise the dead. He commanded his disciples. Heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, and raise the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You know, God ain't never put raised the dead. Always, somewhere around the world, people have been raised up. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank I, I, we've had them to fall dead at our service and God would raise them. I remember over to reservation that there was a we were having a tent revival and a lady a baby died during the night and she hid that baby keep from taking it down to the funeral home and the bombing she hid in the woods all night and all that next day to the next night, and she come walking in that service. I didn't even know the baby was dead. And after he done woke up after the service, I didn't even know it to after the service because they don't they don't make much. They're not emotional whatsoever. Boy, that. And she brought that baby. Said, "Pray for my baby that God will heal." And I didn't know the baby was dead. I laid hands in the name of Jesus be made whole. And the baby started jumping, started crying. And I didn't know. I didn't know the baby was dead. Been dead all that half of that night and all that next day. I noticed it was sort of cold. And, but I got you know, nothing of it. She didn't. I would look for her to come up there and say, my baby's dead. Probably she shook that whole place. She'd come up there and say, my baby's dead. I've been hiding all night. Keep from him and bomb him because I knew God could raise him up. Oh. <laughs> she didn't say all that. Thank God. <laughs> she just said, hey, I believe that God's going to heal my baby. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That baby jumped and cried. We went on, she went on back and said, I'm like nothing. We no. never thought that baby had been dead. Like she'd been hooping and hollering and running. Yeah. She went back and sat down and had the baby. Hey. You know why? That's faith. That's yeah. what she expected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, when you really got strong faith, yeah. it don't excite oh, you. God. To that point, because you believe it's going to happen. Yeah. And she wasn't going to hit in the woods with that baby. She had to believe God's going to raise it up. Come on, Richard. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh. Brother Jimmy, come to me after service. Did you know that baby was dead? I said, What baby? You prayed for me. I said, What? Said, yeah, she told me the story how she hid. He died at night. She hid the rest of that night and all day. Hallelujah, God. Raise her baby. It was definitely her faith, because I wasn't praying for God to raise the dead. It was her faith. You know what the Bible said? According to your faith. According to your faith. I wasn't praying for God to raise a child. I didn't, God didn't, didn't even show me it was dead. It was her faith. And she stayed in the woods all Rest of that night and all day. Because she believed. Yes. That's what I call faith. Come on. Believing that God was going to raise her baby. He did. I said he did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take me where you lady. Come on, preacher. Oh, you've been dead for four days. Yeah. And he stinketh, Lord. It's all right. Did not tell you if you would believe. You would see the glory of God. Heaven knows that's what causes God. To reveal himself is when people start believing. I mean, just stepping out on nothing and believing what God said. When you ain't got nothing to step out on. Step out on faith and believe God. Step up. Hallelujah. Step up and believe God. That's what faith is. Faith ain't. If you got to see it before you believe it, that ain't faith. But you believe it to see it. You believe to see. That's faith. But if you got to see it before you believe, that's not faith. People say, I got to see that before I believe it. That ain't faith. I believe we want to see it. You ever heard that say? That ain't faith. Faith is you believe to see. Hallelujah. You believe. And you believe you're going to see. 
you know without a shadow of a doubt, God's going to answer your prayer. Oh, Hannon is ready to get your prayers answered. Hannon lift your hands and say, God, I want to see my prayers answered more than they didn't answer. Hannon is just tired of praying and not really seeing your prayers answered. You, you're getting wore out praying without seeing your prayers answered. But God is still God. He still answers prayer. He still answers prayer. Whatsoever you desire when you pray. See, we got to get back and get the key. we got to get back and, and study these scriptures and get back to that word and look at it and take every word. Take every word one at a time. One word at a time. And get it down in your good. And stand up and, 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 and put it to work. Put that word to work. It will not fail. It is simple. Faith is simple. That woman just said, if I... May but touch 12 yeah. years. 12 years she had sunk. Yeah. And got worse. Every doctor she went to, she got worse and worse and worse. But when she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. She rose up and found Jesus. And when she did, she pressed the way to the cross. She didn't let the circumstances stop. She didn't say, well, I'll come back next service. I'll see him down the road somewhere. She could have been dead before she got to her She was desperate. In her desperation, she said, if I may but touch. She, she had already said it in her heart. She didn't even tell them yeah. what she was going to do. But she, she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I know I'm going to be made whole. Yes. That's what she did. She pressed her way through. And when she touched the hem of his garment, she felt immediately as that issue of blood cut up. And Jesus stopped and said, Who touched me? He said, Lord, people are touching you ever, everywhere. He said, Oh, somebody touched me with faith. I felt the virtue. Somebody's healed. Somebody is healed. It ain't just touching Jesus. It's touching Jesus with faith. Because they told him that people touching you everywhere. What are you talking about? He said, somebody touched me with faith. That's the one I'm talking about. Somebody's healed. That's the one I'm talking about. Somebody touched me. And I felt virtue go out of my body. Somebody touched me with faith. Somebody's healed. I felt that healing. I felt that healing virtue go out of my body. It's me, Lord. It was me. On your faith. Part of your faith be it so dear. Hallelujah. And she was healed after 12 years. After spending all the money she had, she was broke and dying. But that day, she was made when she touched the healing of his God. He's still God today. He's still that same Jesus, folks. How faithful God. Have faith in God. Jesus not only died on the cross and shed his blood to wash away our sins, he took the whipping on his back at the yeah. whipping post to yeah. take away our sickness. And I don't care what sickness you got, Jesus has already paid for it. Your sickness has been paid for just like your sin. And if Jesus can wash away sins by his blood, he can take away all of your sickness. By his stripes. Oh, you don't believe that just part of your sins has been took away, do you? Neither did he mean for part of your sickness to be took away. Amen? Amen. 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 Somehow we accept and believe that the blood takes away all our sins. Some, somehow it's hard for folks to believe that the stripes takes away all your sickness. David said in Psalms 103, Bless the Lord, Lord of my soul and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Yes. Who forgiveth all of thy iniquities and healeth all thy diseases. So it's God's will for you to be saved. It's God's will for you to be healed. See, it's one. It's redemption. You call it redemption. He redeemed us from sin, sickness, and disease. Jesus told that man, 
when he walked up and there's all waiting on the trumpet of the waters. Jesus walked up. And there's a lot of folks around there, but he walked up to that man that didn't have nobody to help. I guess the rest of them did. Jesus said, Will thou be made whole? He said, I have no man when the water's troubled. Because an angel come down once a year and trouble the waters. And the first person that got in there, no matter what kind of disease he had, they were healed. And Jesus come walking up. He went to that man that didn't have nobody to help him. Paralyzed. Jesus said, will thou be made whole? He said, I have no man. When the waters of trouble, I can't get it. I can't walk. paralyzed. He said, take up your bed. Come on. Hallelujah. That man got straight up. Off the ground. Put his bed on his shoulder and start walking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible said Peter, they put people, they put people on, on the side of the street. So when Peter come walking down the street, then his shadow would go up over. And when his shadow would go over, it would jump up and be here. At the very shadow of Peter, God was moving and using these men. I said God was using these men in a mighty way.
If you tell them you decide you wouldn't die, you cancel on you. It's you. You decide you to live. Hallelujah. He came back that whole revival. Praise God. Without pain. Pain was gone. God gave him a miracle. Oh, hallelujah. I saw him many times since. Lift your hands up and pray. He's still on the throne, folks. God is still alive. That same Jesus. Praise God. That same Jesus that did the works in the Bible and done the work since then. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you believe it? It's time we begin to believe in that God. Believe in that same Jesus. This same Jesus that, that walked the water. The same Jesus that raised Lazarus from the dead. The same Jesus that healed a woman with the issue of blood. The same Jesus. Hallelujah. That raised a woman's only son. Uh, stopped the funeral. Raised him up and delivered him back to his mama. Hallelujah. Flat down the hearse. Hallelujah. And raised him up. Hallelujah. Don't you know he shook up something around there? Hallelujah. Oh, I'm telling you, I believe that God is ready now. If we'll just start believing, folks, believe that that's what brought, brought these works. Up front, people begin to believe. People begin to pray and step out. People begin to pray and step out. And God begin to act and move.
how much more can God be touched by his children Amen. that cry day and night? Somebody say me. Lift your hands to him and love him. Thank you, Jesus. Or look at somebody and tell them you can get you can have a change. You, you can get a change. You can change your situation around you. Prayer changes things. You can get your situation around you. You can get your surroundings changed through prayer. I said through prayer. Things can change. And they will change. If thou canst believe. All things are possible unto everyone that believe. Do you believe today? Lift your hands and tell the Lord I believe. Lord I believe. Lord I believe. Lord I believe. All things are possible unto everyone that believes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Have faith in God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I believe all things are possible under everyone that believe. God, you don't send your word for God. Lord, there's a reason. There's a reason. There's always a reason why you speak to us on the manner that you speak. God, I believe today all things are possible. Under every one that believes. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Go into that hospital. Go into that. I see you. Go into that hospital place. Wake them up. Heal them. Make yourself known. By your mighty power. Show yourself mightily, Lord. Lord, we send your word today. And in the I see you. We ask you for a miracle. God, give him a miracle. Give that man a miracle. Make him whole. Raise him up. In the name of Jesus. Raise him up, Lord. Stand him back up on his feet like you did land him. Or Lather's been dead for four days. You called him. Lather, come forth. Lather, come forth. He got up and walked and drew him to the door. You said, loose him and let him go. He went home and they cooked supper. You ate with the Lord. Jesus, we believe you. We believe you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, all things are possible unto everyone that believes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands to him. Tell him you love him. Tell him you love him. Tell him you love him. Tell him, Lord, I believe. I believe. If you need a miracle today, anybody needs a miracle, needs prayer. Thank you, Lord. We'll pray for you. We'll believe with you. And if you can believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Believe with me. If you doubt, you have to doubt by yourself. You ain't gonna doubt for me. I believe. Believe. got a thyroid problem. Jesus, we ask you to believe for a miracle today. Lord, I believe right now, Lord, that she is being made whole. She's healed. Lord, over 2,000 years ago, you paid the price. You bought. You paid. You took the stripes on your back. And you said, by my strength, 
You're healed. Lord, right now, I lay my hands upon her. And I curse this thyroid problem. I command this thyroid problem to drop up. By the power of the name of Jesus. Be made whole. And all the symptoms leaves as a sign that you're made whole. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are made whole in Jesus' name. Go in peace and praise the Lord. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you help him, you touch him. Touch him in the name of Jesus. Touch our house, Lord. Save, Lord, unsaved. Deliver those that are bound. Set free the captain. Oh, God, have mercy. Lord, I send your word into our household. In Jesus' name, I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke Satan by the power of the name of Jesus. Go, go from this household. I command the devil to pack his bags and leave. Save them, Lord. I sent conviction into that house. In Jesus' name. Lord, this infirmity these reactions in her body and her eyes. Lord, Jesus, thank you for healing it right now. Thank you for a miracle. Thank you right now, Lord. You're going through her body and she's being made whole. Thank you for it, Lord. You are healed. By his stripes, you are healed. It's not a cure. for her husband's condition is hard. Jesus, I ask you to take that old heart in your nail scarred hands. Jesus, squeeze it. Fix it. Put it back where it belongs. God, I command in the name of Jesus. Lord, I command in the name of Jesus for his heart to be healed. I command Right now, that all these conditions, even some the doctor don't even understand, but Lord, you know, and I command this heart to be made whole, be healed, be healed, be healed, in the name of Jesus, and by his stripes, and by his stripes, the Lord makes his heart whole.
in the name of Jesus. All the true move this attack of the enemy, Lord. That's his job. But Lord Jesus, you give us power. You give us power over the devil. Lord, you give us power over Satan. Now take authority over that attack and torment. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I take authority over that torment spirit. And I cast it away. I command you to depart. Speak in the hurt ears. No more. In the name of Jesus. I take full authority over you, devil. And I command you to take your flight. Torment her no more. I speak peace. Peace. Peace to your mind. In the name of Jesus of that, I command of the power, the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. You have no authority over God's property. You have no authority. I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. And she has authority over you. God in Jesus' name. God, in Jesus' name, let her begin to release her faith of authority against Satan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Peace be still. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus, torment her ears. Speak no more. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I rebuke all of these infirmities in her body, Lord. High blood pressure. Whatever, Lord, is going on. You said, Lord, you're a healer. You said, Lord, you forgive all of my iniquities and heal all of my diseases. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, I come against this infirmity. I rebuke them all. Lord, by the power of the name Put your hands up. 
you just praise you. Tell the Lord you love you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's reach over and take somebody else by the hand. And say, I only believe. Praise God. I only believe. I only believe. It ain't something. It ain't something that's got to be paid for. It's something that Jesus has already paid for over 2,000 years ago. And he said, if I can't just believe all things, no matter what it is, it's possible. I never wanted to believe. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're going to change the heart of the service today and give your chance. To help us today, God will bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless this offer. We ask your blessings upon it. Let every need be met. And I pray that not one will fail you. Lord, it will be faithful today in our giving. Lord, you said it's more blessed to kill than it is to receive. God loves to share forgiven. Lord, we thank you today. We appreciate you. We ask you to bless this life. Amen. Stand on your feet. Thank you. 